Welcome to the continuing of Kenneth Sylvan Guthrie's The Hymns of Zoroaster, usually called the Gathas. And today we open part five of chapter three. It is only with the greatest reluctance that the writer even considers the recognition of another cult, for the following reasons seem decisive. The parallelism between the dualism of 30 and 45 demands a group other than Bohumanist, who were philosophical enough to be appealed to by dualism, and this could be neither the Davas, bent on rapine, nor the Ashaist, to Armatians, bent on cow herding and fire worship and fanatic opposition to the Druge. Again, fire worship was never really a thing amongst the Persians. Using fire and water and other elements in worship? Yeah. But taking them as gods? No. The Agni cults in among the Hindus, different story. So let's be real about that. We have Spenta and Engromenu as another group of entities. Truly, Spenta recalls Armati, the bounteous fertile, and Menu recalls the Armatian shaper, the spirit of wisdom. But the Armatians were perhaps the most ancient and simple cow cult, whereas Yasna 45 contains a group of late ideas we shall see later. Sra'asha, the Chindat Bridge, Garodman, and Harvatat, and Ameritat, ignored in 36. Again, there would be among the Armatians no room for Angromenu, as no opponent is mentioned to the shaper of the cow, the spirit of wisdom. The opponent, there was Tara Meti, corresponding to Armati. And we have as compensation. Ada, directly associated with Spenta Menu, 3312, though not 3311, 481, and Adana, 37, a duplication showing that we must hold apart the Bohumanist Adana from the Spenta Menuist Ada group, whichever it be. The savages, as we have already seen, were Vohu Manist, the foreigners, Va'akema 34.4, must have been different from them, and would suggest later comers, such as would hold the more advanced Spentamenuous doctrines, which we will see next, we will next see. Neither Davis nor Druj would be addressed as foreigners. See, when you try to separate the mind, the body, and the spirit, you end up with an imbalance. And when you're interpreting other people that way, that, oh, well, they're, this refers to sort of the mental side of things, and this is for the... So they must have been different religions. It's like, that kind of implies an imbalance in the person doing this, doesn't it? The chief reason for the recognition of different and later group is that in 36, 37, we have Tavishi and Utai Uwite, given to a sick man without mention of Harvatat, if not of Ameritat, whereas in 45.7, you know, Yasna 45, I don't know the word for verse, these qualities, Tavishi and Utai Uwite, are, as always later, properly connected with Harvatat and Ameritat. 45.7, 45.10. These entities must then have been either unknown to or ignored by 37. This latter alternative would be unlikely because no reason could be well advanced. For purpose of ignoring of them, again in 32.5, Ameritat appears not with her later twin companion, Harvatat, but with Huds Yatai, showing the formative stage of the latter twin doctrine of Havratat and Ameritat. We have a special eschatology, Sra'asha as judge, 
My stomach is growling at me. Well, that what happens when you don't eat breakfast before doing these things. And Gorodman 45.5-45.8, which would conflict with the house of the best mind, our house of Druge, out of Asha, Gorodman is the latter ideal, taken up by the latter Mazdians, while the Vohomanist psychological cast of thought is held to the crisis, the Chitta and Matha, 32, 39, as we've seen in 45, 7, the preparer, who's later to stand with Sroasha at the bridge of judgment, 46, 17, the Chindat bridge, 46, 10, 46, 11, 51, 13, shows a developed and later Mazdian view. The prophet will go over it first, 46.10, certainly developed from the simple ratav of the herdsman. In 46.11, while connected with the house of Druj, the fact that their dana will meet the karpan and the kabais, there is mentioned as something they do not seem to have known yet. So, in 51.13, there is manifestation of new doctrinal description for those who have left the way of Asha, with the Danas as destroyers of the good reward, while the Danas, as we have seen, were frequently connected with Vahumana. Nevertheless, the whole picturesque picture employing both Vahumanist and Ashaist conceptions is strikingly is a strikingly new ensemble. So a system of judgment could stand against you or it could stand for you. So if this is what dana means, we find also in Yasna 45 a more advanced psychological scheme of eight elements, mana, sangha, kratav, varana, shaathana, dana, and urvan. Mind, doctrine, understanding, thought, teaching, deed, spirit, soul. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay. In 45, 8, while in 32, we only have the traditional threefold division of mana, vacha, and shathana, mind, word, and deed. All the other names for men being appropriated there to Armatians as used with Pasav, Mashia, to the Druge doomed, we may be impressed by the appearance of Maraton, reminding the later Geyomart in the classic passage 45.5. In 46.13, Sasta precedes it, and the hearing is connected with Sarasha. In 29.7, the cow acts, who would intercede for her with men? Probably the Davas. Yet, the cow's creator was the spirit of wisdom. Again, in 36, the connection is with Ashma, and hence Davik, unless we consider his role as sickness producer as being spenta manuous as opposed to Harvatat and Ameritat. The references are 29.7, 45.5, 46.13, 36, 32, 12. In considering the special doctrines of the Spenta Manuist group, Harvatat might appear as an innovation. We have seen two stages of growth towards this. First, when Harvatat was ignored, and secondly, when she appeared as Huj Yatai. The idea of health and sickness, therefore, may have been characteristic of this group. Did the Ahumbis 31, 19, 44, 2 have anything to do with this? In 31, 19, applied to Zarathustra, and in 44, 2 to Ahura Mazda, it may have shown another stage of the development of the healing idea with Ashma imported from Davas as opponent 36, Sothon, Ha-Sothon, meaning the opponent in Aramea, 
At any rate, Urvatha as friend appears in 4511. There is the following complex of associations all connecting with the clever... all connecting with the spenta manuist. The clever are sifted by Sraasha, 4617. The preparer, Zarathustra himself, will stand for them with Sraasha, 4617. The preparer's wish for prophets of Emeritat, 45.7, are the clever spenta manuist. On the whole, they seem to have relations mainly mainly with Zarathustra himself, uh, and as Grehma does not believe in the second coming or life, 32.10.46.11, does it mean that the clever did believe in it before Grehma perverts them to being Gurgist? Sraasha obedience would of itself mean obedience to Zarathustra himself. He is associated with the preparer and judgment in 46.17, 44.16, 30, uh, 43.12, and 45.5, with Ameritat, Spenta Menuist, with Harvatat and Ameritat in 45.5. And so, one thing that's important to, you know, comment and question with your own opinions and experiences of these matters and in any other video, you know, of course, be respectful. Um, I have had to delete a few comments. He should be killed. And really, you're putting that on? No. Um, but I'm I'm fine with differences of opinions, particularly if you're, if, you know, you have a reason to back up these opinions, and you're saying why. You know, go go ahead. Um, the clever or Mazdaist, the Gnostic cult includes Mazda. From the verb, oh, Mazda, from the verb Mazda, be 1163, to mind or remember. In connection, therefore, we have the knower, Vidva, 31, 6, the knowing, 45, 3, the clever, Datha, 732, uh, 46, 17, with their special heaven, the house of the clever, 32.10. With their opposite of the fools are the non-clever, 46.17. The Magians is part 7. The Magians were apparently a well-established tribe with a special name, Magavan, 33.7, They were perhaps Davas or Vishtaspa, the Kavayat attains their leadership, 46, 14, 51, 16, 53, 2. They may, however, as many kindred tribes and persons have been to their relatives, have been bitterly hostile to them, or they may have drifted apart in some manner, so as to allow for Zarathustra's opposition to their kindred, the Davas, meat-eating, 32, 8, and intoxication by Hyoma, you know, Marijuana, mashed up, a little opium and a fetra juice in there, 37 other plants. The experience of such being often enhanced by ritual, um, but either way, it was banned. You know, what does it have to say about that other thing? And um, Certain types of meat eating, I guess would say, or trying to be carnivores. There's this group that I'm researching that actually recommends that people quit everything except meat and maybe milk. No cheese, no, no, um, yeah, my stomach's practically vibrating with the roaring. <laughs> Rumble, rumble, rumble. Um, anyways. Um, I guess psychosomatically I'm connecting ideas of food to... Food. 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 Um, 48.10. May have been elements in this disunion. In the Magian sections of the Gathas, 46.9 through 13, 51.11 through 22... 
and 53. The cow drama, 29, we have a prevalence of Mazda Ahura together, except in 33, which has a slight preponderance of Mazda only. The word Mazda may therefore have been already prevalent and known to Zarathustra. The word Maga meant a hole. Now, if we suppose that the men who lived in the deep valley, which was not fitted for agriculture, which to support themselves, pasturing cattle, pasturing cattle would be the only possibility. The dwellers on the high tableland were successful, powerful Davas, and at last, when driven to despair, Zarathustra advises the Magians to settle cleverly these open, sunny lands and to engage in agriculture also, 50, 1 through 2. This would account for all the facts and allow a role for Zarathustra as champion of the herdsmen and his later alliances with the Dava, Frasha Ostra, and Jamaspa. Again, the Magians may have been troglodytes, such as lived in Haran. Fire would be very necessary for them. Hence, perhaps, they're preserving or being favorable to that element of nature worship. Taking advantage of something, giving it a spiritual context, is not the same as nature worship. However, in such, however, such introspective lives as troglodytes must necessarily live most must necessarily live would favor the preservation or development of memory and mindfulness, the Mazda concept. Indeed, the word Mazda, to remember, is found in one of the Magian sections, 53.5. The other occurrences, as in Spenta Manuist, 45 to 45.1, does it make sense? Maybe 44. Uh, which cult Zarathustra was seeking? We may therefore conclude it was in general use. But the famous Yasna 30 dualism also begins with the expression that the prophet will now utter things memorable. Mazdatha. These, no doubt, were the secrets of the Mazdian theologians, common among all the various cult tribes. Does Maz, did Mazda alone, of all the other entities, have no opponent, seeing that the name Mazda is, after all, kindred to Mana, Menu, and Meti, all these words meaning thought in some shape, such an isolation would seem improbable. But what opponent have we for him? The later Ormuzd and Ahraman betrays it. Ormuzd is Ahura Mazda. Ahraman is, of course, Ashma. Ahura was an opponent of Mazda. No, no, no. The different names for the same god. Hence, Zarathustra's long effort to recognize Mazda as the supreme. Ahura, since we have Ahuras of Mazda and Ahuras Mazda 31.4. 39, before the final crystallization occurs, hence we also have the conjuring of disobedience. Esrushtai from Mazda Ahura, 33.4, so as to leave Ahura as holy and universal a name as it has since become. As I said before, there were people when every prophet figure came that thought, hmm, personifications, uh, different entities, instead of, you know, that's why in Arabic there's the term called uh, uh, Tawheed, the making one. The secular use of Ahura, 29-2, and certainly there'd be old, other holy, uh, masterful beings that were, you know, less than gods. 30, uh, 29-2, 31-8, 31, 10, 46, 9, 50, 53, 9. As judge is attributed to Mazda in 31, 8, 46, 9, to a man in 29, 2, 31, 10, 53, 9. And in the latter case, it refers to a conjurer who would murder and imprison. So we have both. 
A, Ahura is sufficiently different from Mazda as to be attributed to him, as containing the idea of bloodshed and violence, which makes a point of the Spentem and the Achavanem, added to it in 46.9. While originally the idea may have been that of an opposing entity still reflected in Zarathustra's code of ethics against his enemies. 43.8, 28.9, 46.4, 46.18, 31.18. He insists that Ahura and Mazda were the same. 31.8, 46.9. Ahura becoming bounteous and just. We have this Asrushte, Asrush. Asrushtai in 33, 4, 44, 13, 43, 12, is it, or is it, or is it 48, 12, 48, 12, yeah, 48, 12, really the opponent of Sraasha. So we have the outline of these so called Zoranstrian cults, meat eaters, uh, the Davas. Meat eaters, butchers of cows, refuse, intoxication with Ha'oma, friendly, agricultural, but employing, you know, Soma with more things, as I've said before. Friendly, agricultural, but employing methods different from Zarathustra's, Grahma, their Fukaesa, prophet. Oh, Tukaesa, prophet. Teaches that eschatology, teaches an eschatology different from Zarathustra's 3210. They are politically prominent. They have wide reputation and ally themselves with uh, Eshma. They use Hunav for sun. And I'm reminded of how if you read Sunni narrations, you find at least two prophet uh, two. Two prophets that were contrary to Muhammad, so prophets of other entities, and Muhammad let them have their freedom. Um, certainly opposed them in teaching, but it didn't go beyond that. And both these later became Muslim after Muhammad died. One of them, I don't remember when exactly the other one did. Um, Muslim narrates one accepted Islam after Muhammad died. Um, so, uh, two, Armatian bovine fertility worship. Armati, the productive, cow-like, gentle is pasture. Fashioner, tash of the bovine. Gaus Rvan. Gaus Rvan. Soul of the bovine, full entity with pasture. They deemed a judge who shall dispense profit and loss. They honor understanding and reverence and peace. Vera for man, opponent to Aramati is Taramati they combine with. When was the age of Taurus? Uh, 2200 BCE to further, you know, to closer to 5000 BCE? I don't remember exactly um, when these dates are. Three, Ashaist partisans, yes, since 28. 43, 44, 48. Asha is opposed to the Drugist, who are called the doomed are mortals. Injure or convert them, cry the champions or saviors. Their law is the Sangha. You know, if you study Buddhism or Jainism or what would be called Hindu religion, you're going to find terms like that. And, you know, the Aryans were... One tribe, the Persians, the four tribes, the Hindus. In, in a matter of speaking, some people don't like either of those terms, but they're appropriate enough. Um, their judgment occurs by red fire and molten metal. You know, the burning of the sword wounds, home of the Druge, hell. Okay, four, uh, four is Vohumanist. Yasna's 30, 34. Friendly to all, hence, also to Drugis, hence they appear to Zarathustra, hypocritical, 34-7, and proud. Thirty-two, three, Peri Matoischa, as opposed to their Tushna, Meti, Ashe, 
is their version of Asha. To their Vohu is opposed Akamana in the home of the worst mind. Whether go the savages by retribution, Adana, they are the intellectuals interpreting doctrine, having verses teaching Daksh Ksha Sasna Chis Tai or Sophia secret teachings of which the legend of the stone heaven may have formed part for the Daenas four oh heaven not four five spent a manuist Yasna forty five forty seven forty nine Dualism of Spenta versus Engro Menyav, Sraasha versus Asrushte, from among all men and foreigners. So, Maratan, Vaakema. Sraasha sifts out the clever who are following the preparer over the Chinvat bridge. Garodman attain Haravatat and Ameritat. They have an eightfold psychological division. Retribution is Ada. 6. Magians. Yasnas 29, 33, 46, 9 through 13, 51, 11 through 22, and 53. A tribe living in a deep valley, in a deep valley, by despair. It's, it's, my, my stomach's rumbling from all directions. I'm sorry if you hear that too. Um, a tribe living in a deep valley by despair, driven out into open lands, 51 through 6, submitting to the Daeva ruler, Vistaspa, their entity, while their divinity, Mazda, is united to his erstwhile opponent, Ahura, from whom Zarathustra is knower of the mysteries, conjures away all evil, and superimposing him above all other gods as the supreme... Huh. I guess there might have been a page 70, 172, but it was lost. So in this reprint, it's not here. Um, you know, it's, it's an old book. Um, when was it? 1800 and what? Um, well, 1924. It's, so it's it's been long enough. Um, it's been long enough for other people and other companies and whatnot to take over. That's what I do on my channel. Um, so, Chapter 4, The Development of Zarathustra, The Magian Youth. And I guess that is where I'm going to... Amid, amidst these groups or tribes, which it's not think of as large nations, but perhaps fellow settlers of some mountain or group or table or land, Zarathustra must have grown up and worked. Okay, before I get into the official Magian youth part, I guess, it's important for us to realize that some cultures have taken and acted like, hmm, gods, not only can we not think of, some of us can't think of this idea of God at the same time as this other idea of a god, they actually made God the enemy of God, which was interesting, and, um, but I'm reminded of a particular thinker, which I co make comments on on my channel, and, you know, do things one day, do the opposite, or, the, uh, or something opposed to it the other day, and that's one of the things that apparently he has practiced. Um, so, one, the Magian youth, in studying the origin of Zarathustra and his message, we must keep certain things in mind. As in other religions, the accounts of his early youth are among the least reliable documents. While we must change perspective, Zarathustra arose, he was unnoticed, and the world around him great. Hence, in asking ourselves to what tribe he belonged, we should go to the later years of his life and see what his relations are. Hence, we find the Magian tribe, among whom he is not satisfied to teach, he wants to preach outside of, or before it. 33.7. This would not have occurred had he not belonged to it by birth. Not necessarily. We must therefore imagine him a youth of the Magian tribe. In this account of life, Zarathustra, all the legendary material which would have been added much to the picturesqueness, picturesqueness of the scenes has been purposely omitted for the 
purpose of this work has been limited to the inquiry strictly to the Gathas. Biblical criticism has taught that popular and even orthodox traditions are not always the safest guides. Well, don't they edit down the Bible from other texts and stuff like that? The location of Zarathustra's birth in the neighborhood of Lake Urumya finds absolutely no support in the Gathas, but who's ignoring of sea and lake mentioning water, but in 44.4.51.7 is particularly striking. If his visions occurred by river or lake, the hymns do not mention it. And as much as the Quran is preserved um, in each of his dialects without change, you don't, and there are certainly worse stories about some of it that have been lost, you really, until the experience on the 27th of the seventh month, you know, in a, in a week from now, um, you don't find, uh, you know, most of the material, before that, there's less, there's more reliable material about that one event and the response to it than there is to the rest of his life before that. Um, as far as aside, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the scripture being taught, um, but as far as the his words, his deeds, stuff like that, no, that's that's not really there. Um, part two. Let's let's try to get to, to as student with the Bohumanist, because the role as a prophet is the important part. What we may suppose that we that possibly shy, homesick, distressed Maggie and youth might have learned with the Bohumanist teachers elsewhere. We have seen all the special doctrines that he may they may have introduced to him. That the most certain of all is that they taught him to address Vohumana as a present help in trouble, for never as long as he lived was the impressionable Magian to fail to raise his prayers and adorations to the good mind who dwelt above the heavens. We would not vex the best mind because the expected benefactions, 28, 9, he would always teach hymns worthy of the life of Vohumana, 31. He watched over the issues of human life with Vohumana, 28.4. He would always advance his interests through Vohumana, 33.8. Would Vohumana have the power to protect his poor? 34.5. A lot of Vohumana was composed of the incomparable things of the coming kingdom, 33.13. It was the power of Vohumana that should be the portion of him who withstood the divine fire, 43.4. For Vohumana appoints the proper punishments and will come and utter judgments, 43.5 and 6. So are young prophet was instructed in verse or oracular utterances, 43.11, which no doubt never entirely faded from his mind.